What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. That took a mouthful of air, boy. My grandma's recipe for boiled corn. Now, I'm not using the traditional corn we have in the Caribbean. I'm using the stuff I get here in, Car in Canada, which is the sweet corn. Now, I did share a recipe similar to this a while back, and I am making changes to grandma's recipe, but grandma's boiled corn, unlike anything you've ever had before. I can... Trust me on that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and what you're seeing there, it's salted pigtails. That's about a pound and a half of salted pigtail there. And that is how we're gonna start off grandma's boiled corn, exactly how she used to do it. So I got cold water. I'm just gonna rinse that out, toss that water out, pull it back up to about half of the pot, put it on the stove, bring it to a boil. After it comes to a boil, let that go for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna toss that water out, put back fresh water, bring it back up to a boil, and boil it for another 25 minutes. So in total, 45 minutes, two sets of water. The whole idea is to get it nice and tender and to take off most of that salt the pigtails were cured in. So there we go, covered. It's probably about two, two and a half, three inches above the, uh, the pigtails there. That's how deep the water is in there. And we really want to bring it up to a boil, then allow it to go on a rolling boil, as I said, for about 20 minutes. Drain that water off, add new water, bring it back up to a boil, and another 25 minutes, all right? It's a little bit dark now. It's getting late in the evening. And the first flavor ingredient we want is one of these bad boys here. That is a pimento pepper. And we're going to move back down here. And we're going to grab an onion so one of these onions here we need a scotch upon it pepper so we look at all the reds in there nope we're just gonna go right here and grab one of these bad boys here and the final sort of flavor ingredient we need is right here and that is fresh thyme so we need quite a bit of this thyme to add to the pot as well. So there we go, we've got that pigtails now. And there's a reason why I'm leaving it whole. I'm gonna flavor this boiled corn with the um, with the pigtails, but I will also use it for another recipe. So the recipe you're gonna see after this one, you're gonna see those pigtails being used for a second time. It's been going now, two times water. I drained it a couple times. I'll need more water in there, but I'm just doing this low amount here to show you all what we're doing now. So we've got that in there. We're gonna go in with the onion from the backyard. We've got that pimento pepper, as I said, from the backyard as well. We've got some parsley. We've got that fresh thyme. We've got some smashed garlic and all the ingredients I use here today will be listed in the description of the video and the recipe itself will be posted on caribbeanpot.com so we've got those flavor ingredients in there now because there's still quite a bit of salt remaining in that salted pigtail there is absolutely no need to add any salt to this at it's now time to start adding the corn in there and how well you will notice i have my scotch bonnet pepper in there Ooh, little water water is getting hot water is getting hot Yeesh. Why is this thing being difficult, boy? So we're gonna float that in there. We're not gonna crack that one because if we crack open that one, pardon, it's real heat, real pressure. So we ain't trying to do that. So put your corn in there. We'll put that scotch bonnet in there. We're gonna bring that up with some more water. Turn your heat up to high because you wanna bring that up to a boil now. Just gonna cover the corn with that water now. In goes some coconut milk. Now, when grandma used to make this, it wasn't so much about anything out of a can. Eh? It was straight, freshly grated coconut milk. Coconut, well, dry coconut, you grate it and you would bring down your own um, coconut milk from it. Bring that up to a boil now. You know, I'm not in Canada. I really can't be doing that grating and all kind of thing. Plus, my fingers are always getting, you see that grater? Eh, no friend. Bring it up to a boil now, and then we're gonna do one more thing. As it starts coming up to a boil now, 
grandma used to go on now with the skin. It's sort of skin from the corn. I don't know why these curling up here like, like they're trying to get a jerry curl or a perm or something like that. But um, you just want to put some of that skin on the top here. And that's going to help sort of steam the corn a bit and keep everything down and add some more flavor to the pot. It's been going on that boil there for about 20 minutes. This is, as I said, sweet, soft corn, very, very soft. So this is fully cooked. I'm telling you this is gonna be, you see this fella here? Make sure you guys remove this because you see that bust in there? <laughs> Pressure. Nobody will be able to eat that corn. Christy at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Grandma's boiled corn. Now this salted pigtail, you can munch away on that as well. In my case, I'm going to remove that. And in the next recipe you see me do, I've got some Jamaican callaloo in my backyard. I'm going to cut that up and I'm going to put that all together. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Do give the recipe a try, man. Yeah, this stuff, garbage. But that corn... Boston. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos man. Come on, click.